Hi everyone. Today we'll be using the problem string to integer. So I'll explain the logic first. So before I get started with the logic, let's go over the sum. This is one of the important questions question asked in the Facebook interviews, as you can see here. So for the first, it looks like a little complex, but if you understand and just go over the logic ones, it will be pretty easy for you. The problem here is to implement a to i function. A to i function is nothing but which converts a string to an integer. And once we go over the problem, we'll see that we have many cases to handle. As you go over the description, you'll find that we have to handle many cases. The function first discards as many white space characters as necessary. So that's our first condition. Then starting from this character takes an optional initial plus or minus sign. So we need to handle if it is a negative or if it, is, if it has minus or plus so that our integer turns turn to be a negative number or a positive number. The string can contain additional characters after those that form the integral number which are ignored and have no effect. So what this means is if you have any integers first then if you have any characters and then integers again so we need to consider only first part of integers to form our actual integer number. So in, if we encounter character, that's where we stop it. Okay. If the first sequence of non white space characters is string is not a valid integral number or if no such sequence exists before either string is empty or it contains only white space characters, no conversion is performed. So once we have handled the white space characters and then the sign, then it's must for us to uh, have an integer to go forward. If not, then we can stop. So let's go over the examples. So if the string is 4 and 2, we return the output 42. So in this case, if you see the second example, the string contains white spaces and then a negative sign and then 4 and 2. So in this case, we first ignore the white spaces, then we take care of the sign, then we convert this into 42, append with the negative sign and then return. So that's minus 42. So if you see the example 3, the input string is 4193 space white white space and words so in this case we just consider the first four integers and convert into 4193 then we encounter a space white space which is not an integer so we stop right there so in this case we are starting with a character that is w that's the reason we don't go forward and just return zero so if you see there's one more condition our output integer should be in the range of int max that is 2 power 31 minus 1 to int minimum minus 2 power 31 okay so before returning we need to make sure that our integer lies into that if it is not if it is out, out of range then we return int minimum or int maximum accordingly okay so here are the seven steps what i'll be using to write our code so if you remember these seven steps, it will be pretty easy for you to solve this problem. So first you need to take care of null string. If the input string is a null, you just return zero. Second step, you need to take care of white spaces. So you need to just increment your pointer, which goes throughout the length of the string until you finish encountering all the white spaces. Then you check if you have, if you have already encountered end of the string. If yes, then return zero. So then you take care of the negative sign if it, ha if it is ha then you take care of negative sign if it has any then we expect we then we expect to encounter with numbers so we calculate a number and check if it is within the range of max and minimum okay then if it is not we return int max or int minimum okay or int max or int minimum Okay, then at the end, if you have not returned here, then we have the actual integer. So we return it with the sign. So these are the seven steps. Now let's go ahead and write the code. Hi guys, so today we'll be writing the code for the problem string to integer. As I've already explained the logic, so we have seven steps and we need to, we have certain end conditions to take care of. So the cases like we need to take account of white spaces, minus or plus sign in the string or different characters in the string. So these are the seven steps as I've already explained in the logic. So let's start writing the code for this. First one will be the getting the size of the string. Check if 
size is zero, then return zero. So that's the first case. Then we need to get, take care of base case, like it contains any white spaces. And if str i is a white space, then we just do i plus plus. Semicolon here. Okay, so that is done with the white spaces. Then if we've already encountered with the end of the string, then we need to return zero. Okay, that's the third condition. Then we need to take care of the negative sign. So let's say if str i is negative, then we need a variable to keep a track if it is a negative number. We take a sign which is plus one for now, thinking the string will be converted to a positive integer. Let's say if it encounters negative, then we make it sign is equal to minus one. And I plus plus. Else if str of i equal to plus, then we just do i plus plus because sign is already one in this case. Okay, so we have got we are done with the four cases. Next is we need to find the num. So, so let's take a number long. Say num is equal, we let's initialize that with zero. And we have our while loop where we have three conditions i is less than n and so as I said we need to take care of this condition where our converted number should be within this range it should be greater than int minimum and lesser than int max right so we need to run a loop until our number is less than max if it create if it goes beyond beyond int max then we need to exit and the third condition is str of i should be is digit because we are converting only digits for now right okay in this case num is equal to num star 10 plus str of the digit okay and we do i plus plus after this if our num is greater than in max so we return so before returning we have our sign stored in a variable sign so let's say if sign is one then we return int max else we return int minimum okay if not we just return sign into num okay so this is our code so let's go through it and try to find all the minor mistakes if we have any so we have taken n and we have this we check the first condition if the input string is just empty string we have a variable i we go through it and get rid of all the white spaces and then we have a sign variable and we take care of sign here so we need to make sure that we are incrementing whenever we encounter anything like white spaces or the sign or a digit right so we are incrementing in all the places looks good let's run the code okay so we got our expected answer expected answer was 42 and we are getting 42 so let's submit and see if it passes all the test cases like it did it is an accepted solution and this is one of the most important question for Facebook interviews this is frequently asked in Facebook telephonic interviews it looks pretty complex at the first but if you have these seven steps as I mentioned here the logic seems to be pretty easy just go step by step and take care of all these conditions and you have your code do let me know if you have any concerns or inputs regarding this solution. Leave them in the comments below. And keep learning every day. Do subscribe for more videos. And let me know if you want me to solve any specific question regarding any Facebook interviews or Microsoft interviews. 
and we can discuss that in the comments below as well thank you